This is four lanes of trucks. They won't let me overtake. Look at this. <laughs> Faiz! <laughs> yeah, but what can I do? I'm stuck in the middle here. Stupid trucks. You're supposed to keep left. Look at this. Uh, I don't have a light today, Fai. Yeah, that's your fault. Nah, here you go. Oh, wow, so big! <laughs> yeah, I'm big. You complain small, you complain what you want. <laughs> Whoa. So dark and peaceful here. And what is up, you guys? I hope you're having a wonderful night. It is, uh, yeah. The much requested video. You guys want me to come to Pulau Ubin at night? And here we are. Actually, I didn't want to come here, but because Faiz asked me and I thought like, okay, since you guys asked about it so much, I'm here. I'm here at Pulau Ubin. Oh guys, look at this. Check this out. You can go in and see. Uh. What Faiz? You can go in and see. How do we go in? Just climb up the bank. Here? Whoa. Okay, you got a toilet here. Then you've got your well here. We. So we got a well here, yeah. and this is a, some sort of toilet, is it? Yeah. Nice. And what is all this? This is stairs up yes. here? Okay, last time people's houses, their toilets are away from their house. So uh -huh. they don't have the toilets in the house. Uh -huh. So yeah, there you go, there's your house. Nice. Mm. Whoa, look at this. This is like a restaurant, but it's closed now. Oh, is that, is that, is that people? I heard, I heard wood moving. Uh, it could be some sort of animal. Look at the lake. It's raining! <laughs> I can see it's raining. Here is the, um, some sort of like what? A dam? It's like a dam. And then you can see. So dark, guys. So dark. I know it's very dark here, guys. You can't see anything. Behind me is all darkness. But luckily, Fai's got me this light. You know, my L light is useless over here, but um... Faiz! The light is still not working! Hit like that? Yeah. It's not working! Okay, uh, can someone give me a little light at the back? Yeah, there you go. That's total darkness for you guys. This is Pulau Ubin at night. You guys wanted me to come to Pulau Ubin at night? I'm here. I did it for you guys. Uh, Faiz, yeah. are we on a hike or are we on a picnic? I'm on a picnic, you're on a hike. <laughs> <laughs> now, they say it is haunted here at Pulau Ubin at night. Yeah. Who knows, we'll see. I, I don't know. But uh, at least I'm with Faiz and his group of friends. So I think I'm pretty safe. Okay, we've been walking for like at least 20 minutes and uh, Still nothing much, nothing much around this area. There is a lot of folklore in Pula Ubin. A lot of stories about ghosts and spirits around here, people dying, people drowning. And then there's like a German girl who died here. Yeah, it's a long story, but, um, but to be honest with you, this place, it is very peaceful. I really enjoy the hike at night. And guys, if you didn't know, City is with us as well. Hi. <laughs> we meet City, again. another adventure with us. Yeah, this time hopefully not as muddy as the last time. Uh, it does not look very muddy, look. Yeah. It's like nice road, pavement. Right. It's a nice hike. Yeah, because I'm wearing new shoes. Oh, new shoes? Yeah, they were on sale. <laughs> Why did you bring an on sale <laughs> shoe on a hike? Because it's my first like hiking shoes. Before this, I was wearing like just like sports shoes, like running shoes. Oh, yeah. okay. You go closer. Okay, better. <laughs> okay. It has always been peaceful. It's a kampung. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't find it scary or eerie here. No, it's, like, not. They, it's not. People it's say there's lots of like ghosts and you know, things that are scary here but mm. actually here it's quite 
It's cooling at night actually. That's because it's drizzling. But it is cooling at night. To be honest with you, it's not that bad. Now I understand when you told me when you went to Decathlon, mm. you say like if you sleep here at night, it's gonna yeah. be cold. Yeah. It is gonna be cold. It is cold. Yeah. It's nice. It's nice and it's also drizzling. Mm. It's not hot. Hopefully the camera doesn't get spoiled. I don't know if the camera caught that sound or but it's a gecko. Is it? It's not it's not a frog. Oh it's frog. Co yeah, it could be a frog. Okay. <laughs> um I like this light Ouch. a lot better. I'm sorry, <laughs> but now you know your lights are very powerful. Now Faiz gave me a different light. Look at this. <laughs> Faiz, how many lights do you have, Faiz? I brought four. I have, I have like more than 26, I think, at home. This is not common for every girl. You enjoy this, don't you? Yes, I do. Tell them it is not uh -huh. scary here. No, it's not. It's Until not. you switch off all the lights. <laughs> If you kill all the lights, then maybe, yeah. But at the same time, I think mm. this is a very nice nature walk. Yeah, I have to be honest. What do you? What about you, Faiz? I mean, I've been bringing you out here. <laughs> yeah, it's a stupid <laughs> question, yeah. <laughs> all right, guys, I want to show you Faiz's powerful floodlight. Look at that. Look behind me here, right? There is no light at all. City says it's scary, but let's make it day. <laughs> Look. Yeah, your face is now dark. Oh. <laughs> Better? Yeah. Faiz, how much is this light? I think I bought it for under, under $200. Yeah, it was under $200. Under $200. Yeah. It's hot! Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. It gets hot. <laughs> yeah, it gets hot. You can't expect too many lumens without getting hot. Lah. Man, it, guys, this is seriously burning, man. Dim like that is enough, right? Yeah, maybe you might want to lower it a bit okay, because lower. it might... It will still get warm. This uh, is good enough, right? Yes, yes. Awesome. Get a light like Faiz. Faiz, if yeah. the viewers want to buy a light like yeah. this, what is this light called? It's called the Hikelight MT-09R. You got that, guys? <laughs> I didn't get it, but you got that. <laughs> Faiz, yeah. can you explain to me, mm -hmm. why is it that people are asking me to come to Pulau Ubin at night? What's so great about Pulau Ubin at night? I don't understand. Okay, most of the villages in the, in the island has been moved or They've just went for the mainland, uh -huh. which we are left with the diehard uh, villages near the jetty now. Okay. Yeah, so right now most of the island is unpopulated except by dogs and wild boars. But what is so exciting at night? Okay, what have you been doing? Adventures at night, right? Yes, into yeah. the unknown. Exactly. What they want us to do is go somewhere a bit more accessible, which have no human traffic technically. Okay. At night. <laughs> Which is, which is my... Which is that. Yeah. That is what you guys want, right? Exactly. <laughs> As a Singaporean, you know, there's a lot of stories. Yeah, I did tell them about that there are lots of folklore in Pulau Ubin. Yeah, exactly. So I guess they just want, the, they just want us mm -hmm. to experience the night atmosphere of the island just to see whether the folklore are real. I see. Yeah. So is this what you guys want? Is this what you guys are looking for? This is what you want me to experience? I like it. Uh, that's my honest review. I like it here. Like, I don't feel scared at all. You know, I don't feel creepy at all. I just feel like it's cooling and peaceful. And my last vlog, I told you guys that, you know, I enjoy being here at night, being alone. I have deep thoughts. I get deep thoughts when I come here. No, it helps me think and it helps me plan. Whatever problems I have, I think about it. I come here and more often than not, I get a solution like how to solve the problem. So if you are creepy and weird like me, do this. I don't <laughs> think you're creepy. Right, Faiz? I mean like, if you are No, here, you just said, I don't think you are creepy. <laughs> <laughs> or weirdo, weirdo. Do you think I'm a weirdo, Faiz? Maybe a little bit. Okay, but I come to places like this, and if it's quiet, and if I have a problem, I'm able to clear my mind and have deep thoughts and have a solution to the problem. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> like, guys, seriously, is this scary or what? This is not scary. This is fine. Like, city is fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Thank you. Yeah, city is fine. <laughs> <laughs> Check this out. Oh my. It's one of the old abandoned kampong houses. Right? Yeah. There is so much of this in Pulau Ubin. Whoa. Yeah, it's my favorite fruit. Oh, your so your favorite fruit. fruit? No, she likes my fruit. Shut up. Uh, what? <laughs> Why is you? I can't say that. Some is red. Yeah, some, some 
tree is the set la, right? Yeah, but the, the, the tree looks like it's bleeding. Yeah. Mm. Faiz, we'll you. Yeah. this is some creepy shit, man. I thought you said we're not going off trail. I never said anything about that. I thought that you said that there's no mud. I never said that. Sorry, city! What? Your shoes! <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, going in. Going deeper in. Big rocks, Faiz, yeah. be careful. The, the rocks are not going to move. Well, don't... Whoa, there's a toilet here. Yeah, a toilet break? Uh, no, thank you. I need a proper toilet. Isn't this a proper toilet? Uh, this is a proper toilet 50 years ago, so... Yeah, 50 years ago, yeah. It's, so uh, technically it's still a proper I'm still toilet. young, Faiz. No, you're older than me. <laughs> Faiz, what are you doing? Oh, so that's the toilet. 50 years ago, that's yeah. how they used the toilet. There's a hole. <laughs> you see the toilet there? So when you yeah, shit, yeah. the shit will automatically roll down the hill. Into the unknown. Into the unknown, yes, city. <laughs> but now we know. <laughs> now we know, city. Oh, guys, there's a big rock here. Whew. What a trail. What a trail. Someone made an artificial step to go up this rock and uh, what? To sit there and do meditation, Faiz? Probably. I see. I don't do meditation. So. City, you are not going for meditation. You don't have to. Man, this girl is a daredevil. City, be careful. City on top of a rock. Faiz, more adventurous as well. So I want to show you guys this place. Look at that. This is, this is so cool. Now, guys, seriously, coming here, here is really a jungle. Oh, dude, there's an old ass gate. There is a what? It's a freaking old gate. An old gate. Well, that's an old fence. Oh, over here. Yeah. That's an old gate. And more structures. More abandoned structures. This is where they burn their trash. I have a feeling. Faiz, you think we should be heading back soon? It's gonna rain really heavily. Faiz, this house is abandoned? I'm not too sure. Okay, I have to stop you guys there for a while. I just want to add that that house that you see in that video, um, it's haunted. I think it's more of the area around it is haunted. How we knew this was that along the way when we walked back, we saw somebody, you know, some villagers or something, told us a few stories, a few folklores. They see people coming in and out of the house at night, but actually that house is abandoned and there's nobody who lives there anymore for a long time. Kind of creepy. It's more of an experience which the house has been abandoned for so long already. The owner's probably dead and you only feel creeped out afterwards. I don't know if I would have gone to there mm -hmm. and filmed that place if I knew at the start that that place was haunted. You but know what the, I mean? But the good thing is you don't know. I didn't know. Yeah, so exactly. after that, you know, experience uh -huh. and then someone tell you that it's haunted, it's uh -huh. like, whoa. But personally to me, I feel like if it's haunted, yeah. okay, I didn't disturb you, so why the hell would you disturb me in the first place? So otherwise, as long as you're not doing anything stupid, yeah. you wouldn't even be disturbed and the place probably wouldn't be haunted to you. I'm not scared, but the idea is that if I know there's something spiritual or if it's, example, if it's a grave yeah. and there's so many times I tell you if there's a grave there, we are not going to film it because, because it's a resting place. Just imagine if you're sleeping and if somebody is like filming and talking, you won't like it. You know, so I just do not want to um, disturb peace. But now we go back to what we did earlier today. <laughs> <laughs> back to the show. Back to the <laughs> show. <laughs> Faiz, do you think there's snakes at Pulau Ubin? Oh, absolutely, man. <laughs> what? I don't want to have another snake encounter, Faiz. <laughs> it's not you, it's me. Yeah. Don't worry, you can call me the snake man. You the snake man? Yeah. At least I'm not selling snake oil. But uh, guys. That is like a, it's a very, very old house, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you can look at the fire extinguisher, it looks quite new. Yeah, apart from the fire extinguisher, but the whole building, it is so old. Yeah, I mean, apparently it's 19, 1930s. 1930s? Yeah. Man, I was not born yet. Where were you in 1930? Not even a drop of semen. <laughs> you regret asking <laughs> Yes, I regret asking this guy then. It's gonna rain! We gotta go! <laughs> <laughs> but this is good because we have the canopy on top protecting us from the heavy rain. Look, look at this. You can hear the water but you don't see any on the ground right now. 
Yeah, because you know guys, look on top. We are covered with trees. Oh, I love how you can see the droplets like, you know, shimmering. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yes guys, we are heading back because look at the weather. All rain. But luckily I got an umbrella. Sorry city, no umbrella for you. <laughs> Camera is more important. We have to get out of here because it's freaking raining. But I hope you enjoy today's vlog of Pula Ubin at night. Look at that. Yeah. And I will see you in the next one. You guys keep smiling. See ya. See ya. All right. <laughs> see ya. See you. Bye. <laughs> uh, this is Matthew. He's a Faiz friend as well. Say see ya. See ya. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. We, we really had to get to the jetty and the ferry. Yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. like a storm coming in here. Yeah, let's go. She wants to take a picture under the storm. Yeah. City, are you serious? <laughs> oh, yes. There's a toilet here. Something dry. Something dry. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I think Pulau Bin at night, it's a really nice thing to do. Come here at night. It's fun. It's fun. It's exciting. Um, yeah, City says it's exciting. So, but now we have to keep ourselves dry and then find the ferry and then head back. Whew. City, can you do a proper see ya? See ya. <laughs> no! No! Guys, I wish I could have explored a bit more in Pulau Ubin, but the rain, the rain isn't in our favor today. But hey, it's already like 11 p.m. now. Faiz, aren't you afraid of getting wet? I'm already wet. What do you mean with I'm afraid? <laughs> afraid or not afraid, I'm already wet. <laughs> It's like you already get on a roller coaster. Aren't you afraid of a roller coaster? <laughs> <laughs> and then, <laughs> See guys, you asked for Pulau Ubin. We did Pulau Ubin under the rain. So we're near the village where the jetty is. And we're almost there. Gotta go back soon. Seriously, it's like a storm here guys. Seriously. <laughs> it's so windy. Oh my. <laughs> Look at that guys. This is crazy. So heavy. Do you think we can actually take the boat? The boat is sheltered. <laughs> but would it be, be rocky? Alright guys, see you next week. It's we had to get out of this storm here. It's crazy. <laughs>